Hello, YouTubers. My name is Jack Ransmith coming at you live from my room today. And today we are doing a setup tour. This is a tour of my YouTube setup slash gaming setup. I would like to warn you, it's not that impressive. Not impressive by any means, but... I mean, here we go. So, let's get started right here. This is my television, and I'm running my PlayStation right now. Uh, this is my TV. This is my headset, my very, very crappy headset. I have to get a new one. Put that right there. Right here, these are the headphones that I... Um, until, until like, a couple days ago, I didn't actually have headphones that I could use. And there used to be a huge echo in my videos, only now that's been completely removed because all I have to do is, if you can see around here, you can see I tried to hide all the cords and it didn't work out too well. But uh, if you can see right here, this wire, it's plugged into the television and, you know, so that's a thing. Right here, um, this is my DVD player, my, yeah, my D it's just a DVD player right here. I have a VCR because I actually have VHS tapes over there. Um, but yeah, right here, this is my very nice Afterglow controller, thank you to my friend Tommy, uh, seriously, if you guys, uh, remember him from some videos, and if you can see on the screen, it's got my custom, my, uh, I've got a theme download, it's not mine, I got it from PS3 Themes. I'm debating whether or not to put a link in the description to it, but I don't know, it's going to be hard to find again. But yeah, uh, let's move over to here. This, it's very hard to see. Here it is. This is my Elgato HD60. This is how I record that. And you may notice I don't have a mic because I actually use my onboard mic. You may be wondering, why do you do that? You're such a noob. It's because... This mic, I can control it very, very, like, exclusively. I, I can do it very, very good with this mic. And also, it doesn't capture the background, because as you can see, my door is no longer there. And you might be able to hear it. There is a whole bunch of TV shows and stuff going in the background. But yeah, you may be wondering, how do I get this HD60 to work with my PlayStation 3? Well, right here, this is it. My, my splitter, right here. My PlayStation 3, it plugs into the top, or hang on, it plugs into the top, and then it goes, and then it splits off into my TV, and then into the Elgato, and then you can see the HDMI cord, which is far too long. Right here, uh, this is my tablet, my uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, there it is, oh crap, but yeah, there it is. And right here, this is my computer. The screen is currently broken on it, but the way that I am still able to record video is I just take, because this goes into the TV, I just take the HDMI cord out of the TV, plug it in this, set it up, and then plug it back in and start playing. It's sometimes tricky to do, especially because the because this is the cord on this. It's very, very sensitive to movement. Like, if I were to jolt it slightly... Like, sometimes when I jolt it or move it, then it causes it to lose HDMI connection. And if it loses HDMI connection while I'm transferring it back, I would have already been recording by that point when I'm taking it out and putting it back in so I can start playing. Uh, then the Elgato shuts down. And that's very, very sucky. And then right here, this is my PlayStation 3, my super slim PlayStation 3. It's got that white thing or that blue thing right there and right here this is my cord that runs behind my TV right to here to this one and then right there that blue thing that is for the controller and uh, I might as well show you some of the new games because I might actually if I can get it to work with my Elgato because right here hang on whoa, whoa, whoa. go over I have all my I have all games on digital download Right here, this is Grand Theft Auto V. Um, go up one more, this is Need for Speed Rivals. I tried to record that, but um, I couldn't get it optimized correctly. I might try it again, it might just been a right then problem. And right here is Battlefield 3. This is something I do want to start making. I want to do a Let's Play of this because I've actually very much enjoyed this game. I enjoyed it more than Battlefield 4, which I have played. I don't own the game, but I did uh, play it a while back. And, you know, I just 
really didn't couldn't get into Battlefield 4. And if you did not notice, my theme for my PlayStation is actually a Windows 8 theme. Because I really do like Windows 8. Um, is there anything else that I need to show you? That's about it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, good job. And I will see all you guys later. I hope you have a great day. Peace.